Hey guys, welcome back to the Dean and Medical series. This is your girl Nikki, and today we'll be doing a little bit of cardio. So when we talk about cardio, we're talking basically about the heart. So I have a beautiful picture right here from Art Anatomy by Blue Green. So I made my reference there. And it's pretty self-explanatory based on the look of the diagram, but I'll still go in a little bit more depth to like give you a general topography of the heart. So we're basically starting out simple by labeling the heart today. So a little thing about the heart is that our heart beats up to 100 times per day and pump up to 5,000 gallons of blood per day. So you know your heart is doing a lot of work so we have to protect it right so the heart itself <clears throat> or the wall of the heart consists of like three layers of tissues so we have the epicardium so the protective layers this is <clears throat> mostly made of connective tissue and when you hear epicardium you're thinking about the outside so this is basically the outer layer we have the myocardium and this <coughs> layers cover the muscles of the heart and we have the endocardium which um, lines the inside of the heart and protect the valves and the chambers of the heart right and the entire layers are covered by another protective layer called the pericardium. So epi is on the outside. Myocardium is for the muscle, M for M. Endocardium, you get endo inside the heart and protect the valves and chambers. And the pericardium, when you hear peri, think about perimeter around. So it covers the entire area. This is a tin product protective covering around the entire area. So let's just jump into our labeling. Now that we know a couple of things about the heart, about five, we know that it pumps up to 100,000 times per day, giving out 5,000 gallons of blood. And we know about the coverings of the heart. So three layers of tissues, epicardium, myocardium and endocardium and surrounding all these is a thin layer called the pericardium so you know quite a bit about the heart right now so let's just do our little labelings yeah so let's just do our little labelings right here and here we are we're going to start here so this big Thing right here is our aorta so the aorta is a very big vessel so it's so high pressured and it pumps lots and lots of things so if you cut that open you see a, a rushing of blood coming out there here the next thing as I said today we're basically giving a general labeling of the heart so we're not going much in depth of anything we're just labeling it so you guys know what I'm talking about when I do another video to talk about functions and so on so today is labeling okay because I don't want to confuse you guys so this is the aorta this is behind it here we have the superior vena cava going in your right atrium right there the hair right atrium over here left atrium so the atrias are the upper chambers and they receive the blood and down here we have our ventricles we have the right ventricle and the left ventricle so in our body the position of the heart shows most of the left ventricle and the upper chambers are the atriums are basically towards the back so remember again right atrium left atrium left ventricle right ventricle right the next thing we have here the pulmonary veins the pulmonary veins goes into your left atrium mm -hmm. the next thing we have is a pulmonary artery so you can see the right atrium going up there to go out to your pulmonary artery. So one more time, let's try to label the height again. So here we have your, your right atrium, 
left atrium, pulmonary veins on your left atrium, your right ventricle, your left ventricle, and the pulmonary artery, the big vessel here is your aorta, and the one going in your atrium or your right atrium is your superior vena cava. So here we have the base of the heart, or the, not the base, the apex of the heart. So where is the apex of the heart? The apex of the heart is basically your fifth intercostal space. So that's a very important landmark. So if you get an injury there, you know that you can damage the base of your heart. And I think that's it for the general labeling. I'll give you guys another picture so we can label it together another blank picture and I see what you guys remember okay so now we have a more real life height and we're gonna try to label what we just learned so let's start from the top here so what would this be going into this structure would be our superior vena cava going into our right atrium I want you guys to stay with me you might think you know it in your head, but you have to say it out loud to know that you know it. Your head is very, very confusing sometimes. So you think you know it, but you actually don't know it when you're supposed to say it. So let's say it again. Superior vena cava goes into your right atrium. Down here is our right ventricle. Right atrium pumps into the right ventricle. Then the right ventricle goes out to your pulmonary artery. So this is your pulmonary artery right there. So let's say it again. Let's go in this line like this, like a V. So that's superior vena cava, right atrium, right ventricle, pulmonary artery. Beautiful, guys. I heard you. I heard you. Now let's go here. We have left atrium goes into your left ventricle, and this here is the apex of your heart, which is in the fifth intercostal space between your ribs there. Excellent. Again, left atrium, left ventricle. And now we're going to jump to this big structure that we said was really high pressure, and this is your aorta. Beautiful. So another thing to note is that um, here we have three little things coming off the aorta. This wasn't in our last diagram, but I'm just going to tell you guys what they are. So the aorta, you would expect that it's so big, it has to give branches because it cannot do this alone. So I remember them by saying B, C, S, B, C, S, B, C, and S. So what is B? So right here, B is your brachiocephalic trunk. C is your left common carotid artery. And S is your left subclavian. So those comes off your aorta. Remember B, C, S. Okay? B, C, S. Excellent, excellent. So ready again. Aorta. B, brachiocephalic chunk. C, left common carotid artery, and S, left subclavian artery. So just a general review of everything. And remember to say it with me again, starting from here. Superior vena cava, right atrium, left, right ventricle, right pulmonary artery. Left atrium, left ventricle, aorta, brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, left subclavian artery. I think you guys get the general overview of the outside of the heart and here, the apex of the heart, the posterior, the back is the base of the heart. So here, 
I think you have a very good overview now. So I'll stop there for now until the other video where we can go inside and talk all about the beautiful thing that's in your heart. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned. And if you have any more questions, drop them in the comment section below. And please subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. And follow our Instagram page at DN underscore medical series on Instagram. So that's all for now. See you soon. Bye.